Hello guys, welcome back. So on this one, I'm gonna have to use your imagination a little bit. I'm gonna show you how I would screed a, a large area. Um, so basically, come over here. This is, pretend I'm in the building. This is the doorway here. And you know, this is, this is your 12 foot straight edge, as big as you got, 10 foot, you know. And so obviously the way I screed it, I come around the edges here. I'm going to do a wee quick demo. And I'm going to show you how I fill the middle in, in such a large area when you won't have a straight edge that will go the way I usually show side by side. So I'll, I'll get cracking on here. So obviously when you screed it, you'll come from, your door frame's gonna be here. This is your imaginary door. So your door frame's gonna be whatever level, and that will be where you're gonna wanna work the floor from and to. So we'll imagine, imagine that's the door. And imagine this is actually cement. That's actually the way you want screed. Okay, so it's perfect, it's still damp. The way you're going to load out your whole room would be similar to this. <coughs> so you're obviously going to scre screed it all in, pretending, pretending it's, this is level of course. And believe it or not, you can still rub this up and stuff there. Usually I would continue on right the way around the whole area, but pretend that whole area is done like so. So obviously your straight edge isn't going to reach from that wall to this wall, and it's not going to reach from that wall to that wall, so how do you pull it from level to level? And this is the way I would break up the room. Now you can do it, you can set buttons, plumb as well, and then screed off, you know, if that's your button, you can then screed off that. Probably a very good way to do it as well, but no. Basically, you know this is your, your level point again. You can work off that. Work screed it the whole way. Pull off that too, guys. And um, you can also use string lines to keep a, a rough guide. Not not the not the best thing to use, but you can use you can use a string line. So obviously, yeah, you get that all in and you're happy and it's plumb. Obviously you're, you're gonna be working on it as you go. Again, you've got to be remembering, thinking about that this floor is a huge, huge size, you know, and pretend that this is actually small. So now you've got everything level, you can start to pull across and bring it back to your doorway. I think these are sort of getting the idea of what's happening now. But it's giving you a bit of an idea, guys. Obviously, you won't want to 
completely thought in like so but you know it gives you an idea if, if this was a large area how you would go about taking it even breaking it up into sections now you won't really want the sides to set like that if you did have to stop you would obviously you know cut it away neat if you did have to stop like so cut that away nice and neat hold your straight edge you know mark, mark a string line across and cut nice and straight along your string line and then if it does set for another day you can work off this edge just as if it's the wall and everywhere else so obviously doing this video guys off the the comments that I have been getting quite a lot of recently You know, hope, hopefully that's helpful to you guys. And um, like I said, you can strike your line off and cut that nice and neat. And then the next time you come, your next day, you can pull off that. That that is plumb level. You know you've got it right. And you can, you know, start all over again. Um, the only other thing I would like to say is when you're doing this method without buttons. Um, be careful when you're pulling you can check obviously always check it with your your level if you're using a, a box edge sometimes I would tape tape my level to the box edge because the box edge doesn't have a level on and but you have to be careful when, when you're pulling it that you're not pulling down at an angle so imagine probably have to sort of see this but you can be level but at a ramp coming down in so it's kind of good to do like if you are pulling back and you're pulling back and you're pulling back it's good to leave this high here so that you're not pulling if you start to pull down like that you can give yourself a bit of a ramp and that ramp could still be plumb level this way sorry level this way side to side but it could be falling down and what could happen then is all your your sides are all coming down in the middle and you'll come into problems when you get up to this corner back to the door it's going to run into some serious issues that way so when you're when you are straightening try to leave this this area fatty and proud you know and then you can still finish to that that's my devil float as you can see but you can Finish to that line guys, load up again, pull back more, but constantly leave, leave this proud, leave that proud and you can screed off that again, but again always leave your back edge fatty, um, so hope, hopefully that's a wee bit of knowledge and help to you, um, the reason that I'm doing this video is there's a subscriber was asking about large areas and he called it the c-shape and basically it's just loading out the walls around the edges you would load out if this was a massive like if this was just a full open house with no walls maybe there's only going to be a stud wall the bedroom and the bathroom and basically i would still go around all the edges and then i'd start dividing the room up with bands and filling it back just the way i showed in the video there so again here I am playing with sand in the in the isolation, um, but hopefully that's, that video will help out some of you guys. And if you want to watch me actually screen the floor, I'll put the descriptions in the horror mix.